congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Um, tell us how you guys got interested in uh, making the movie. How did you? I read the script and then I auditioned for it. <laughs> I, 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 the, I read the script, but it's, it's special because it's such an important story for me, being Armenian. So I, I knew I, I really wanted to be a part of this. Um, and, and then I was lucky enough to be in the film. Yeah. So. Um, I was, it was a bit unreal for me. I was on a road trip in Iceland with, with my boyfriend and I received a call from my French agent saying that Terry George wanted to do a Skype with me to talk about his upcoming project with Christian Bell and Oscar Isaac about the first World War movie. And it was just like, yeah, you're kidding me, that's not true. <laughs> And, and a week later, I was doing a Skype with him. And another week later, I was in New York and I was uh, reading uh, with Oscar to see if it matched. And then another week later, I received a call saying I got the part. Wow. What was, what was the, the, the bulk of what you and Terry George talked about over Skype initially? Uh, well, he, we talked a lot about Anna, I mean, the character. And I was surprised that he was asking you know, that he was interested in me. I mean, I, I know he was seeing other actresses. I wasn't the only one, but I was really, I, I didn't know why, because in my head, I don't have the profile Aww. of a girl who would be both these guys. <laughs> right. Love interest, you know? <laughs> and, um, and so we just talked about her and I, and I, and I, all, and I felt she was also uh, almost too perfect on the page because, you know, she's this artist and then she goes back to Armenia to, find back to, to go back to her roots and then she takes care of orphans right, and yeah. it's just like, oh God, it's, it's just <clears throat> worse or, you know, dark sides. I yeah. want to understand this woman. She's not real. So we talked a lot about that. And, wow, yep. yeah. It's kind of interesting about the two of you guys, the dichotomy of your characters, right? You, you Like what you said, you're very urban and very out there and artist, yeah. you know, enjoying life. And and you, kind of like a gentle lady who just loves love, pretty much. Very yeah, romantic. I guess, yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. I, I would say she's very much the opposite in a lot of ways from Anna because she's not, she's traditional in all of the senses and in, in all the kind of the beautiful elements of being an Armenian traditional woman. Yeah. So, you know, it's, and I think she's a romantic and, yeah. and very loyal and... Yes. Yeah, so. I love her. I love uh, both of your characters. Uh, but you. here's the thing, you know, at the at the heart of it, of course, you know, besides the romantic angle and all this, is a is this incredible backstory, this incredible true story that course, yeah. I honestly had no idea. I mean, the Armenian genocide, I have no idea about that. Right. In your research and everything, tell us quickly what you guys learned about it. Well, she, yeah, go ahead. Did, you, you knew you, already. Right? I knew because yeah. I'm Armenian, so it wasn't much research. I, I mean, I, I learned a lot of the details, more more so from my own ancestors, but... Yeah. And and for me, it was just, you know, being, seeing documentations and, and documentaries and reading about it and, and talking a lot with Terry, who was really well informed and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's all promise that it's not going to happen again. Please. No. Yeah. We can <laughs> Anywhere, yeah. in yeah. any country, in yes. any world. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. nice thank to meet you. Guys. you. <laughs> bye. bye. bye.